Have you ever wondered if our solar system is only 4.6 billion years old while the universe has existed for 13.8 billion years? Isn't it possible that other forms of life could have arisen long before us? Considering the universe is significantly older than our sun, it stands to reason that some intelligent civilizations may have existed well before humanity. Imagine a civilization that might be the oldest advanced alien civilization in the universe. But this raises some intriguing questions. Do these ancient civilizations still exist? Where are they now? How far would they have advanced by now? Well, Recently, scientists have revealed some shocking truth about the oldest alien civilizations that might have once thrived in our universe. Prepare to be amazed as we dive deep into the fascinating topic of what happened to the most ancient intelligent civilization in our universe. The sheer age of the universe means that any civilization arising shortly after the first stars formed would have had billions of years to develop and evolve. Despite these possibilities, we haven't found definitive evidence of such civilizations. With estimates suggesting there are more than 10 billion terrestrial planets in the Milky Way and several hundred billion galaxies in the observable universe, it seems statistically unlikely that lightning only stuck once when it comes to life. Because we only currently know of one planet able to sustain life, scientists base their searches off Earth, looking for small, rocky worlds in the habitable zone where surface liquid can exist around stars with a few common key elements needed for life, such as carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, and sulfur. But the Big Bang mostly produced hydrogen and helium, while Earth's crust consists mostly of oxygen, silicon, and iron. This means Earth couldn't have formed right after the Big Bang. But for how long would we need to wait? Well, to create the elements that rocky planets like Earth consist of, stars in the universe actually need to first be created and then die to spread elements heavier than hydrogen and helium into space. Heavier elements are mostly produced in stellar interiors through fusion and when the stars eventually explode and shed their layers to their surroundings. It takes hundreds of thousands of years for the star's material to fully mix into nearby space and subsequently, this material needs to collapse and form new stars and planets. While there's definitely an observed correlation between the amount of time passed since the Big Bang and the amount of heavier elements in the universe, astronomers are still having a hard time creating a precise timeline for the amount of heavy elements created at what time. But we do know that something like Earth could not have formed until enough stars in the universe had exploded. And we also know that this could have happened a lot earlier than when our own solar system formed. One of the most interesting planetary systems astronomers have found in our own galaxy is Kepler-444, which consists of five rocky planets orbiting a star which is 6.6 .6 billion years older than our own solar system, meaning that it formed only 2.6 billion years after the Big Bang. Also, the oldest known planet is PSR B-162026 b, about 12.7 billion years old, while the Earth is 4.5 billion years ago. This begs the question, how intelligent would alien civilization be if they have evolved for billions of years longer than life here on Earth? And where are all the ancient aliens now? Why haven't we received any messages? Dr. David Kipping of Columbia University explains in detail in a new paper recently published in the International Journal of Astrobiology that any civilization that we detect is more likely to be older than us rather than younger. In fact, the math shows that there is a 10% chance that a civilization we manage to find would be more than 10 times older than us. If these civilizations follow the exponential technological growth curve that humanity has been following for the past few centuries, it is surprising to think how much more advanced such a civilization could become. Well, 
If the first intelligent civilization still exists, their position on the Kardashev scale would offer insights into their technological status. A Type I civilization would be harnessing planetary energy, but might still be confined to their home system. They might be detectable through atmospheric pollution or other planetary markers. A Type II civilization harnessing stellar energy would likely be building megastructures around their star, such as Dyson spheres. These structures could theoretically be detectable through their waste heat emissions in the infrared spectrum. A Type III civilization with energy control on a galactic scale implies a civilization with the ability to manipulate stars and potentially entire planetary systems. Signs of such a civilization could include unusual galactic phenomena or large-scale astro-engineering projects. But despite these possibilities, we haven't found definitive evidence of such civilizations, a puzzle often referred to as the Fermi Paradox. One theory to explain the Fermi Paradox is the Great Filter a hypothetical stage in evolutionary or technological development that is extremely difficult for life to surpass. This filter could occur at any point from the emergence of life to the development of advanced technology. If the first civilization encountered and failed to pass this great filter, it might explain their absence. Hypothetical scenarios for the fate of the first intelligent civilization include several possibilities. One is self-destruction. Advanced civilizations may reach a point where their technological capabilities enable self-destruction through nuclear war, environmental collapse, or other means. Recently, in a new research scientist found that our galaxy likely reached its civilizational peak over five billion years ago. While civilizations generally have a low chance of wiping themselves out in a given century, the researchers say that these five billion years were likely more than enough time for an event, be it an irreversible climate change disaster, a nuclear holocaust, or other event to have occurred and made them extinct. This would ultimately mean that we are in the tail end of intelligent, self-aware life forms to have graced the Milky Way. Carl Sagan and other scientists have warned of this possibility for humanity as well. Another possibility is the technological singularity and post-biological evolution. Civilizations might transcend their biological origins, merging with machines or evolving into digital consciousness. These post-biological entities might be uninterested in or undetectable by us. Another scenario involves interstellar colonization. If a civilization overcame significant barriers to interstellar travel, they could spread throughout the galaxy. However, the immense distances and energy required make this a challenging endeavor. Another intriguing possibility is that advanced civilizations might have developed ways to cloak their presence, either intentionally to avoid detection or as a byproduct of their advanced technology. Such civilizations might have technology so far beyond our own that their activities are indistinguishable from natural cosmic phenomena. All these possible explanations are just theories. Despite decades of observations and studies, astronomers have not yet detected any alien life outside Earth. However, there is a significant possibility that extraterrestrial life exists. Given that the universe is 13.8 billion years old, it is plausible that many intelligent life forms have arisen before us. Understanding what happened to the oldest intelligent alien life in the universe could provide valuable insights into how to sustain and advance our own civilization. If such ancient civilizations still exist, they would likely possess unimaginable knowledge and technology. These advanced beings might have developed ways to spread life across the cosmos. There is a possibility that the oldest civilization in our universe could have seeded life on various planets, and we might be one of their most successful creations, continuing the race of intelligent life in the universe. The idea that ancient civilizations might have seeded life across the universe 
also raises profound philosophical questions. If we are indeed the result of an ancient civilization's efforts to spread life, it challenges our perception of humanity's uniqueness and place in the cosmos. It suggests that life is a common thread woven throughout the universe, connecting us to distant, advanced beings. In conclusion, the search for extraterrestrial life and the study of ancient civilizations are not just about finding aliens. They are about understanding our place in the universe. If we discover that intelligent life has existed long before us, it could provide crucial lessons and inspiration for the future of humanity, helping us to thrive and advance as a civilization.